I'd like to talk about when to show your game to people, both in terms of, of pre-release and, and actually releasing your game. And this is something very difficult for, for game developers and, and, and for me, is that it's hard to show people your game when it's not done and when it's not up to your expectations because you feel like, oh, they're going to judge it on all these things that are wrong and, and um, you know, um, you look at the game and you say, you know, these are the things I want to change, this is what I want to do. <sighs> and and so it's it's tough to sort of put that out there. And, and um, you know, certainly many game developers feel differently. I mean, you look at, at Minecraft and, and um, you know, they released in alpha or pre-alpha and certainly it worked out very well for them. But, um, I mean, I think for an open world game or, or something where, where um, you know, the, the core is really compelling, is, uh, uh, it's easier to do that. Um, but, I don't know, certainly it's difficult to say, you know, for, for something that that's, you know, just a, a fraction of an overall experience, and, and the experience is really what, what's going to attract people to the game. It's, it's difficult to say. And in, in particular, with, with a horror game, um, pacing is really important, and I feel like the, the a demo pacing is, is to some extent difficult to do because I think, I think, again, with suspense, uh, the slow burn is really, can be really effective. Certainly it's not the only way to go, but you almost want to build up to something. But then if you're presenting something with only a limited playtime, it's, it's difficult. And, and so I think, you know, in the demo we're going to release and, and, and that packs and stuff, I think to some extent, it, it has sort of more scares per square inch than than the final game will have. I think um, part of that is because we, we want to make an impression. We want to leave people saying, hey, you know, this is really cool, this is really neat. You know, they got me at this scare and that scare. But also just because, you know, in the environment of a demo, people don't really have the patience for a build-up. Um, that they're not sure will deliver. Um, I mean, right, like, you, you, you're building up to something, but if they don't know that you're building up to something cool, it's tough to say, and I think this sort of ties back into the difficulty of, of a, you know, full horror game is, is how do you sort of grab people by the balls at the beginning of the game, and then, you know, let off the tension, or, or, or at least, you know, make it compelling such as a slow build-up of tension. Um, and, and I'm not quite sure that's certainly something we'll have to, to work on, but I think in general it's tough to call a game done. It's tough to say, you know, I'm happy with this and I'm going to give it out to players, and, and uh, certainly uh, we had a, a lot of trouble with this on Retrograde, and, and I, I'm, you know, trying not to repeat those mistakes, but it, it's really tough. It's, it's like your baby, and, and it's tough to, you know, say, well, I'm not quite happy with you, but, you know, go out in the world and fend for yourself. Um, but I think, you know, today, games are a bit more of a service. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of feedback on, on Retrograde on the, well, not a ton, I mean, there's not even a ton of Retrograde players, but, you know, people on Steam are saying, like, hey, you should add, you know, this small feature, this small feature, and this small feature, and, you know, at this point, it's like, I can't spend more time on Retrograde, but, but, um, I mean, that dialogue is nice. It's nice to, you know, get feedback, and, so, and certainly I did fix a lot of bugs, uh, you know, based on user feedback, but, but in terms of adding new features, it's, it's tough to say, you know, I'm going to find the time to do this. But I think it's, it's helpful. I think, uh, you know, people have good feedback and, and to incorporate this uh, into your, your game um, after release is, is valuable, and I think it's important to sort of schedule time for that uh, after you finish your game. I mean, 
unless you're gonna work forever or four years and make every detail perfect, but I, I don't really recommend that. So, certainly it's tough uh, putting your baby out there, but I think it's important because I think you want to know what people think and you want to know how they're going to react.